In the last year, I've made beginner tutorials for basically all of the big email marketing tools out there. And in this video, we are going to go over each of them to find the perfect tool for your needs. Now, I do want to highlight that this video isn't sponsored by any of these upcoming tools. However, if you do want to support me for completely free, you can use the affiliate links along the links to the beginner tutorials down below in the video description once you've made your decision. Either way, we are going to go over all of the tools on screen right now. Right here. However, to save us some time, we are going to right away eliminate some of these providers and let me quickly tell you why. So first off, we do have Constant Contact. Now, although Constant Contact actually was one of the leading tools like 10 years ago, nowadays it still isn't a right tool, don't get me wrong, but basically it kind of lacks any special feature and they don't have a, a free plan right here and the price isn't really competitive. In fact, it is actually quite pricey. So as you can see, if you would have 5,000 contacts, you would have to pay 80 bucks per month, which kind of is a lot given the features. So really, I wouldn't recommend to go for constant contact. And the same basically goes for get response. Get response, same as constant contact, is a pretty alright tool. However, they basically don't have any features that would make it worth to go for get response over the other tools, which we are going to discuss later on. And then we also do have Mailchimp. Now, this is probably going to shock a lot of people because MailChimp is the industry leading uh, email marketing tool and they do have a lot of good features like for example the survey editor or the landing page editor. However, taking into consideration the pricing of this, I just think it's not worth to go for MailChimp. So as you can see, if you would have 5,000 contacts for example, this would start at 75 bucks per month. However, with this essentialist plan, you aren't even going to get features like advanced automated customer journeys, which on other providers are even in the free plan. So really, in my opinion, the price doesn't really justify to go for MailChimp and there are a lot of other better providers out there. And then we do have HubSpot. Now, HubSpot, in my opinion, kind of sits in the middle. Basically, HubSpot is an all-in-one marketing tool, which offers a lot of great features like their marketing hub, sales hub, service hub, and so on. However, when it comes to their email marketing features, you are going to get all of the basic stuff, but these aren't going to be super super advanced and I don't want to get into the technicalities but basically as for the email deliverability so basically just how many emails actually arrive into the mailbox of your subscribers HubSpot also isn't really good as you can see only 76% of emails sent out will actually show up in the inbox which as you can see right here even as marked as poor. However, if you do either way plan to use HubSpot for your business uh, or if you already use HubSpot, I think their email marketing features are basically going to get the job done. But otherwise, I wouldn't recommend to go for HubSpot. And then we do have MailerLite. Now, I actually love MailerLite because it's just a super easy recommendation. Now, as the name already suggests with MailerLite, you're going to get all of the essentials email marketing features and they actually master these features. So basically, when it comes to the features, you are going to get email marketing, automations, and so on. And they do actually offer a super neat interface. Everything is super self-explanatory. Everything is super nice and so on. And when it comes to the pricing, uh, it is actually super affordable. And they also do have a forever free plan for up to 1000 contacts. Now, inside this free plan, you are even going to get stuff like drag and drop editor, like websites, and even stuff like their email automation builders, which once again, MailChimp doesn't even offer for their paid plan okay now if you are going to go for 5000 contacts with this you are only going to pay 35 dollars per month or 45 dollars for the advanced plan and this is super affordable now MailerLite is also going to give you some integrations for example with shopify and so on however the basic the basically the downside with MailerLite is that you don't have as much customization options as on other providers, um, which basically you will have to take into consideration when choosing a tool. Like for example, Active Campaign. Although it isn't as affordable as MailerLite, Active Campaign is going to give you, in my opinion, the most powerful email automation builder. Uh, you are also going to get tons of customization options. Now, basically, Active Campaign is going to be the best tool if you want to get the most out of your email marketing. Now, as you can see, on 
under their features. They do have their marketing automation features, which once again is just the most advanced out there. They do also have basically um, site tracking, landing pages, forms, sales, and so on. So basically they do also offer CRMs and they do actually also tons of different e-commerce integrations as well as transactional emails and so on. Now, when it comes to the pricing to this, um, basically active campaign is a little bit more pricey. So if you, for example, do have 5,000 contacts, this would cost $79, $79 per month as for the light plan. However, in most cases, I actually think that the plus plan does make more sense. And in this case, the plus plan does cost $150 per month. And um, so really you will just have to ask yourself if it's worth to pay for these features. However, if you want to get the most features out there, then active campaign is probably the best choice. Now, then we do have Bravo. Now, basically Bravo kind of works differently. So if you're going to look at the pricing, you can see that you aren't actually going to pay for the amount of contacts you have. You're rather going to pay for the amount of emails. So if you have a rather large email list, but only send out very few emails, then this actually makes a lot of sense. So for example, if you're going to pay, uh, if you're going to send out 20,000 emails, which sounds about right for 5,000 contacts, you are only going to pay $17 per month, which actually is quite affordable. Now, on top of that, Brevo currently is basically trying to evolve in an all-in-one marketing solution. So they are going to offer a lot of uh, useful features that other providers don't offer, like for example, uh, their marketing platform. They do offer, uh, offer SMS and WhatsApp campaigns, which is super powerful. They also do have a sales platform, a conversations platform, messaging platform and so on. However, besides these features right here, you are obviously also going to get your basic email marketing features like your email campaigns, like your landing pages, sign up forms, email automations and so on. Now, one thing which I do have to say about Bravo is that their email deliverability isn't particularly good. As you can see, only 81% of all emails sent out are actually going to arrive at the inbox, like MailerLite and Active Campaign, for example, sit at 93 and 95 percent which obviously is way better i think 81 percent still is somewhat bearable if you're going to use the other features but otherwise i would probably not go for bravo the next software on our list would be Beehive. Now, Beehive primarily is targeted towards creating, growing and monetizing a newsletter. And if you want to actually create a newsletter, this is going to be by far the best option. Because when looking at the features right here, you can see that you can basically get tons of great features when it comes to the newsletter, like for example, sleek responsive templates, audience poll, premium content only, super deliverability, ad integrations, custom merch, mess, uh, custom merch hashtags and so on. Now you are also going to get a custom referral program for that newsletter and on top of that you're also going to get a website builder where you can actually build opt-in forms for your newsletter. Now to basically sum it up, if you do want a super simple, super self-explanatory and overall great email marketing platform, then MailerLite is going to be the way to go. Now MailerLite also offers the superior free plan over all of these tools. However, if you do want to basically supercharge your email marketing and if you do want to get the most features possible then i would actually recommend you to go with active campaign either way i will leave you all of the links down below and make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful